let's work on uh, some of the methods the first one is just uh, added these existing ones for example uh, I want to uh, edit something for my restrooms I can either like you no know, uh, rename them something like let's say um, project San Fran underscore rest room schedule you can just rename them based on your uh, like you know project information or your liking that's why I like to rename them I always use underscore or dash instead of um, uh, this space like you don't want to like rename them something like this hey project San Fran underscore um, space and then restroom uh, for the open studio you really want to either provide underscore or dash okay definitely very important thing so what if if I want to update the number of people schedule okay I'll just click on the schedules and look for this schedule here which has been assigned here at number of people the name is medium office building occupancy go to schedules um, you don't want to edit this one like the the one which you got through a space type wizard you want to make a copy of it because if you make changes here or the changes will implement to each and every schedule set you don't want to do that so the best thing is go to schedules look for this occupancy schedule the existing one and click on this x2 method copy selected object click on it and then rename it something like restroom underscore occupancy and schedule okay so again if you are familiar with energy modeling process you need to provide these kind of schedules um, uh, on the fractional basis these are hourly schedules they basically define that hey like how much activity is happening in this space for that particular load definition so if it's one which means hundred percent and if it's zero it means zero percent so what if if you have let's say occupancy of 50 people on uh, the peak basis so when you have load something like let's say for from 8 to 10 as one which means 100 percent it means you have all 50 people uh, in your space during this like 12 a.m to 6 a.m you can see the occupancy is zero or the fraction is zero if you multiply 50 by zero it means zero people what if during lunch time you have a 0.5 of uh, uh, schedule or actually the what do you say the fraction of this schedule is 0.5 so basically you multiply 0.5 by peak uh, load of people or occupancy which is 50 so 50 multiplied by 0.5 is 25 so during lunch time you have only 25 people available in this space okay so very important thing these people are going to release a lot more heat in space so you need to make sure that you have your schedules and uh, uh, load definition perfectly calibrated as per your inputs okay okay so uh, again that's how my schedule looks like let me just explain you uh, this interface it's very user friendly right now you can see the value the range on y-axis is 0 to 1 and uh, from x axis is 0 to 24 which means all the 24 hours okay you can actually create uh, multiple segments in this line you can just move them like this okay you can move them vertically you can move them horizontally and if you bring your cursor over any of this segment let's say this what uh, this horizontal segment which is one right now you can see the value is one bring this cursor your mouse cursor next to on actually on top of this line when it's blue just provide some value from your keyboard let's say 0.75 and hit enter boom so it went to 0.75 you can actually move them like this you can move it like this these are hourly schedules if you want to create 15 minute based schedule you can click on this 15 option and then you can change the properties you just move this uh, this screen here let's say you want to make some changes from 6 to 6 30 okay so double click on on this space here 15 30 45 i'm created four segments for that particular hour and i can provide some values here for example from 6 to 6 15 my occupancy fraction is 0.25 from 6 15 to 6 30 my occupancy uh, fraction is 0.4 hit enter then same 0.6 for 6 30 to 6 45 and let's say the 
0.8 from 6 to 6.45 to 7. Okay, so that's how you can make changes. Um, if you want to make changes in hourly, well and good. It's much easier. Uh, for example, I want to create something for 4 p.m. to 5 p.m. You can see this is 16 here. You need to be very precise here. You need to understand how this thing works. After some practice, you'll be like familiar with this uh, this interface. Uh, for example, I know if I click somewhere here, I will I can create a fraction easily. So double click here, and you can see uh, this is separated out from this whole line. So for this, I'm going to make let's say 0.6 from 4 to uh, 5. My occupancy reduces to uh, 0.6. Hit enter, or you can actually move move uh, by using your mouse like this. Okay, either way is fine. Okay, so you can see I made some changes here for my restroom. All right. So what I am going to do now, I'm going to assign this schedule to my schedule set for this uh, uh, this schedule set, which is named as Project San Francisco Undersoul Restroom. So now, as I mentioned you earlier, uh, my new schedule lives in my model. It doesn't live in library. I have created something in my model, so it needs to be in my model. Okay, here. So in rule set schedules, you can see this is where my schedule lives. We are going to drag it and drop it over this uh, this existing a number of people schedule again drag and drop method click on this just drag it over this number of people and drop it it will override the existing one okay so now you can see we have new restroom schedule here